everybody. Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. Now just stopping real quick here at the beginning of the video. We got the um, tuning pack on the SCSW900 and the Hell Creek Ranch skin. And boy, there's a lot going on with this thing. We'll, we'll talk about it on the way. I just wanted to show you that uh, front hood emblem. There's two versions of it that light up, which is kind of cool. And then there's versions of it with uh, uh, steer skulls on them, which is really cool. It's just sort of subtle. It's not like a big glaring thing and in different colors so pretty cool thing I didn't notice uh, before but anyway I'll just pause here and we'll get loaded and uh, we'll take it from there back in a bit oh I forgot to mention <laughs> look at all of these uh, Cataliners parked here just all their lights on getting ready to load up that's pretty cool anyway let's go get loaded back in a bit Well, all right. So here we are, ready to go. So uh, let's uh, we'll saddle up and get going here. Um, yeah, we'll. Uh, man, there's a lot going on with this skin. I'll I'll tell you about. Oh, let's have a quick look here in the passenger's door. So there's an option to not have the window there and go with a solid door. And so um, what I did is I made two Turn versions. When possible. I made two versions of the skin for each cab. So there's three cabs, so there's six skins, and you can have the logo, like if you're not going to have the uh, window, choose the no door glass skin. Oh, we're supposed to go out over here. And uh, then you, the nice thing about that is your, uh, oh, there's that T680 back in the game. I mustn't have, I wonder if I have it. If you have it set up as semi truck, it will um, get other trailers. There's an Alberta heavy haul skin, so it doesn't have a trailer, obviously. So it makes sense that it's got a different kind of trailer on it. So we're heading to um, um, Bovina Hell Creek Feeders which is cool because that's the Texas home of this uh, Hell Creek Ranch. It's in Bovina where the Hell Creek Feeder Prefab is. And see these little trailers here? Um, so this Prefab we just drove out of here. Oh look at there's a, oh look at there's a couple more trucks. Oh you know what's happening it's just putting them into traffic or uh, static okay. So we won't see them driving around traffic other than uh, Alberta Heavy Haul. But anyway, this whole prefab here is I uh, was uh, online with Recon the other night, and he was uh, driver 47 and made a whole bunch of really nice prefab here. Made a really cool building and everything, just awesome. And then Recon was getting ready to in-game it and test it. And I was, you know, we we're just chatting, and he's doing his thing, and he's sharing his screen, so I'm watching, because okay, I'm pretty interested in that stuff, but it's way beyond me what they're doing but that prefab is going to be epic <laughs> and it's going to be uh, real close to the actual one because uh, as these guys have been doing they're building it from satellite images from google earth images and um, there's going to be six loading chutes yards, and right. it might activate the seventh which is a sheep loading turn chute right. or sheep and goats and then on top of that, I'm not as sure if, I can't remember what Recon, Recon said at the end, if he was gonna do it or not, but he's thinking of making a, a trigger point drop off or load for uh, the gooseneck trailers that the pickup trucks can pull. So I guess that's to be determined. It'll have to depend on uh, Go straight. the pickup and if you can do the loads get them integrated into the expansion which I think is something that uh, I don't think Recon would struggle with that <coughs> and we got a uh, Zmod uh, Cummins oh uh, what the heck is it it's a turn left. N14 select turn left. select plus The uh, the um, 
Yeah, it's a G5, I think. It's one of the later generations. Got some interesting sounds. And speaking of sounds, man, I'm telling you, I put my PC settings back where they were. I'm going to go back to just turning my headset down a little bit. Let the PC and everything else run loud. And um, I, I think I had better success there than that. You know, yesterday's video, unfortunately, wasn't very... No, at noon today, I listened to it, and whoa, it wasn't there. I found a term, and I'm going to get this sorted out sooner or later. But I think what I really need to do is, uh, well, the channel's growing nicely, and, uh, you know, maybe in a couple months, I'll be able to, uh, we'll see, afford to spring for some better way to record the videos. Because right now it's leaving a little bit to be desired, but I've invested quite a bit in this uh, whole outfit here. And uh, certainly not paying its way yet. <laughs> it's, it's a, we're the equivalent to a fledgling startup, you know. We're not paying ourselves yet, that's for sure. So we've got the windows down. So you can hear this engine. You guys can hear it. I think that's a strange Jake. Obviously, uh, well, this is the one that was, oh yeah, look at the, uh, I should show you this. Oh, there's Alberta Heavy Hall behind us, or beside us, pulling some veggies. These veggies don't weigh as much as our cattle, apparently. We got 66,000 on. But I got a, uh, the uh, turbo spoiler thing there with the skull on it and then on the uh, there's a whale tail option too and on that one what I did is on the back side of it, it says uh, Hell Creek Ranch it's kind of cool first put this engine in like I revved the throttle up a couple times like not real but hard but it seemed to want to rev quite freely and high compared to like you know you didn't have to put your foot very hard on it so maybe what I maybe I'm not driving this one the way it's supposed to be driven maybe it wants to wind out a bit there we go t680 pulling the right trailer Good with the right paint job on it finally So, um, yeah, anyway, maybe i got to wind it up a little more and not drive it like, uh, like the, uh, you know, the DD60 or the uh, 3406B, which is really low revving. Oh, 
Oh boy, we got right to the pin and we're just getting 1550. Doesn't sound great. You know, it doesn't seem to be any point winding on it. This thing is. Oh. Let's try that jank again. Oops. That's uh sounds a little better on the second level. But boy we're So this isn't uh Go straight. I didn't hop up this engine, it's just a default one. Working real hard, but then again, you know, sixty six thousand pounds is quite a bit. Should probably have a four axle trailer out of three and a three axle tractor. Cool little town here. Nice fire department. Very nice. Go straight. So in this skin, so there's so many painted parts, it's unbelievable. I was uh, working on the painted parts all day. Keep well, right. over After 50 yards, turn right. Probably, jeez, it's what time now? It's turn right. quarter after 10. Probably finished them up an hour and a half ago. And I started first thing this morning, but I did have to check the brakes on my daughter's car and stuff like that so I did have a couple hours off in the middle of the day but I'm thinking well, I put in a good nine hours on it to get it ready but I was all set before supper you know I was thinking oh this is going to be good and then I realized they had that uh, door it, you know the little door no window in it over there the, the option is you look down over there when you're doing the thing in the cab and click uh, classic and it'll kill the door and then go get the skin that says no no door glass and moves the logo from set back on the door to centered on the door which I think looks really good that guy's ripping wow Somebody needs a tow real bad. <laughs> or everybody just sees me going fast because I'm not. Maybe that's it. Well, you know, I don't mind this engine. But boy, you know, I, I have my favorites. And I know folks are always giving me suggestions. Try this one, try that one. And believe me, I've tried a whole bunch of them in my own time. Uh, I have, oh uh, boy, three or four Slap Jerry, and they got a bunch of everybody else, and I've been using different engines from the get-go. Oh, that skin's still not looking quite right. The Seminole Transport, I don't quite understand what's wrong with that one. I'll have to see if we uh, get another look at one. I was a little worried about this engine, so I put 336 gears in just to make sure we it had uh, 326s in it. There's another Seminole Transport. It's a mess. I don't know what's going on with it. Wow! Yikes! Oh, man. That's bad. What do we do? Oh, jeez. That's all we need. Cargo's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, wobbling around looking over here at my screen for the damage. Yeah, I don't think I'll use this engine again. 
It's motor voting. It's not holding a steady RPM. It's going. Jeez. Well, that's unfortunate. Like uh, in a video, I can't put the tunes on to cover that up. Okay, we're gonna look at the map and just see if there's a service place somewhere along the route. We're getting rid of that. That's not on. We can't. We can't have that. Here's a great big service joint here. All kinds of service. Ninety-five miles to there. Yeah, we're gonna go change this engine out, man. Can't can't deal with it. I want like an actual diesel engine. It's rock steady, solid. It doesn't you know, it doesn't miss a beat like this. I think you guys can pick it out. I'll be quiet for a sec. So get on the throttle again. Listen for the surging. Like it's, I call it motor boating. You hear motorboat going across the water, and it's really annoying in an engine that's coupled directly to the ground. Okay, my foot is dead steady on the throttle. Actually, we could put it on cruise. Proof the point. Yeah, it's on cruise control. Puts off the throttle entirely. Oh boy, this is horrible. On top of that, it's not very powerful. Uh, terrain here. That's great. So, oh yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about the AI traffic pack, and I just revamped the whole thing. I turfed out all those three axle trailers and spread axles because they just weren't showing up. They just it doesn't happen for some reason. The game, I don't know why they have them in it if they don't. Uh, they don't work. So I took them all out, put everything back to tandem trailers, and uh, it's all working again. The uh, Black Swan, or no, Flatbed Brothers, maybe Black Swan. I might have some tarp sides in there. The tarp sides work, but not as a spread. Yes. Yeah, this could be just west of town here where I live. <laughs> exactly what it looks like. Oh, there's that train gap. It's still there. Jeez, I'm going to wipe the truck out again. Okay, so that means the rated Amarillo. That must be where we're... Uh... Better hop in and see what we're doing here. But... This uh, engine started out.
wonder if we're going to see some Kenworth uh, 100th anniversary skins today. I did see one going to pick up the uh, cattle. Go straight. After 50 yards, keep left. I guess that makes sense if she's saying go straight, so don't take the U turn. Go straight and then turn left here, so. I guess it's a compromise of the whole thing, because. Uh, Lori's got a finite track. This is what she says when she says it and something triggers her. But we're moving around at different speeds all the time. and So, pretty, pretty tough for it to be, not mess you up every now and then. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. This is uh, Wolfhold, this engine. We're going to throw a DD-60 in it. We're going to make up some time. I'll put in my, uh, my sort of semi-hopped up Keep one. Right. After 50 yards, turn right. Maybe just go in right here. Turn right. painful experience. I do lots of cats with the uh, call them all guy. So let's just uh, quickly do this. For, oh, you know what? Oh, uh, we'll repair when we get out. We'll, we got to repair this truck. I'll just find a DD60. Find my Mildly hopped up one, and we'll repair everything. Man, gotta not do that again. I'm usually pretty good about not doing damage to the truck, but when I get distracted looking around at things and going a little nutty. Oh, here, let's do this again. Let's jump out here. Let's listen to this. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Oh, she's giving us a little detour. Not sending us back out to the highway. Or is she, well, what the heck has she got going on here now? What? I better look at the map real quick to see what. Oh yeah, we can just go this way or that way. We got a choice. Hmm. Oh, that's weird, eh? No, we're good. What is she doing here? Don't. I hope it's not going around and. Nah, let's go this. We'll go right and find out what we can do. I'm just worried about that red. The line seems to come back on itself. Makes me wonder if I shouldn't just. Uh, darn. Right. After 50 yards, turn right. What? What did you? Turn right. Oh well, let's go. Shoot. Thing. You hear how steady it is in comparison to what we just had. 
Now we didn't have to have anything to worry about going this way. So the other skin, the Alberta, the, no, the Hell Creek Heavy Hall skin went to number one on the uh, workshop today, which was kind of, I didn't expect that. And, oh, there's the anniversary skin up there. We got a uh, Kenworth 100th anniversary right here. I bumped that up to the same frequency as the rest of the trucks. Matched up with a Kenworth trailer. Turn left. Yeah, it looks kind of good. Um, yeah, so the uh, Hell Creek heavy haul skin. I, do you know, I put it up uh, probably a little bit ahead of uh, it really being ready. There's things in it that I wasn't really happy with. Um, I think the actual basic paint jobs are fine, but it's the little details and things you can paint that some of them uh, may just need a tweak or two here and there. And uh, like I think I mentioned before, that painted exhaust shield is right on the uh, After 50 yards, exit left on the 86 inch cab. It's not right on the exit 72. Uh, the Day cab is completely wrong. Uh, I didn't even get around. I didn't get a chance to really go at it and fix it. Keep right after 50 yards. Turn right. So little things like that, and then turn right. maybe a few more things I learned uh, doing this skin to the extent I did. Like I went all out on this one. So I think I'll. Uh, give the other skin another shot. Uh, so what will happen is I'll just update it. But I think I'm going to do one more W900 skin first before I get to that point. Big Sky Trucking Skin, because uh, poor fellow, he's, uh, I guess, he commented on Steam a, a few times, and, like, it's been out of service for quite a while now, and uh, he's very polite, he asked if I was going to ever update it or whatever, and kind of sent me a reminder poke the other day, and, in all honesty, I, uh, I have so many things going on, it's really hard to keep up. And I, uh, I, I've got to make good for the guy, so I'm going to do it. But once again, a whole bunch more things. It's, it, it's not just an update, because I'm not going to just do the basic truck. I'm going to make it, all the stuff in this pack, this DLC uh, tuning pack work. So it's going to be uh, another big effort. So there's that uh, Seminole Transport skin up there. I don't get it. Like, I mean, the paint job doesn't come out on the trailer. Like, it goes down on the uh, template. So, I think... Well, actually, you know what? It's probably a problem with... Uh, Mod Studio 2 then in the XML file. So you'll see when we get up there, it's it's just a mess. And it does not look like that on the template. Let's see if we catch up to him here. Like the stripe is double on the bottom at the front and it's missing a chunk at the back. It's all over the place. And on the template, it's just laid out perfect. And, oh, that was a tarp side. Flatbed Brothers went the other way. Yeah, look at this mess. So, 
something. Turn left. Look at that. It's terrible. Turn left. I guess, probably get us to the right side of the road, I guess. Turn right. The map. Kind of weird. Here comes the big sky, Kenworth, right there. So I gotta update that for the, uh, this truck. I should probably, if I'm going to do that, or sorry, I wonder if I should put a Big Sky 389. There's another Seminole. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Truck looks good. Real good. Turn right. Talk about doing a do -si do Same one we just saw going the other way. Because we're going in a circle. Yeah, you know what? I think they just didn't want us crossing the road. Because it's going to be on our right now up ahead here, I think. Where is it? Yeah, I think so. There's our home on the left. And I'm going to take the first entrance here. Our little home garage is are right there and they, uh, I guess driver 47 probably added all that equipment in the back and there's a few combines there now. And oh, creek feeders. And this is bovina. And of course we've got uh, bovina on the, oh we got, oh this is, shoot, I put Herford on the side of the truck. Oh no! That's where I was originally going to put it when Texas was announced. I don't have bovina on the truck. Uh oh. Darn it. Recon's going to have words. Turn around when possible. Uh, no, we're going to turn around down here, Lori. It's way easier to park if you go this way. So what, yeah, what I did there is I went in the Western most entrance to this yard. You're gonna see why up here. So, if you're coming to this yard, do it. Do what I just did there. Turn around. See, when they, they want us to come. See that gate in the distance, right out in the middle of the screen. They want us to come in there. Turn around when possible. But you come in this way. Oh, I got a trailer parked in our way Turn here. Left. Good idea, Lori. But here we are, just ready to park. So, just gotta watch the forks on this, uh, hay forks on this tractor here. All right, recon just being recon. Where's the actual chute? Oh, it's over there on the other side of the car. Okay. I guess we're going to be all right. Yeah, we'll call that good. Get
get the gals off of there. Made it a pretty long video. Um, I'll just throw a little bonus content on here after we get the thing off. I'll show you a couple of the features on this skin on some trucks that I have in the shop real quick. But by all means, if you have to go, check out. <laughs> or 20 miles. Wow, that's shorter than the advertised distance on the job. Interesting. And let's go in the truck manager real quick. We'll look at the big guy here. So this is the 86. So I got that crazy bumper on the back here. And so I painted the inside of the this thing and then a couple stripes around it that are sort of going in into it a bit. Kind of a cool effect. Got a Hell Creek on the bumper there. There's the big spoiler again that we're running on this truck. Uh, let's have a real quick look at some of the things on the, uh, some of the options. So that, uh, so the uh, drawing is wrong. The XML calls this wing, when you're putting the, the skins together, the whale tail, and it calls the whale tail the turbo wing. So that's all backwards. So but anyway, that's what you get when you put the whale tail on. And um, the rear bumpers, or you could have the one we have on the truck right now, which is this one. And you got the, the brand on there. On both of them has the brand. And um, uh, the other big news, I guess, is at the front. There's lots of stuff up here. So for bumpers, there's all these painted bumpers. So you just get to throw your brand on there where you want it. And uh, the big crazy bumpers get kind of interesting. Uh, uh, Firefly. So the foreman. That's a big nasty thing. that I've, I made it red on the face of these and then black. Just for something different. And then there's this gnarly looking thing quarterback they call it so I put the uh, barbed wire on it so blue to the outside and on those two and then there's this storm painted so if you're gonna use this one you probably want to go with this grill oh what happened there oh something oh got the wrong grill on there oh I have to check the drawing Maybe uh, we'll have to look at it on a different truck real quick. And this storm, and then you can have the chrome. What I did with it is I put the blue just outside of the chrome. So when you make it chrome, you got a blue stripe. But let's look at, uh, do a quick troubleshoot here. We'll jump over to the uh, day cab here. And we'll have a look at that. Oh, this is another grill you can have. Let's get rid of that bumper. Uh, Put that other bumper on there. This one. And let's see if this grill's messed up too. No, that one's right. So there's a problem there I'm going to have to fix. So and then you could go with this logo. There's um, the light. Blue. There's the blue one. So you can kind of match that up if you're into all this blue stuff. And um, so it's just, uh, yeah, there's all these customizations you can do, like this weird stuff. And then the fenders, there's not a whole lot going on with the fenders. Um, fiberglass, full. It's got Hell Creek Ranch on the side. Fiberglass half has a smaller version right there. That's a weird looking fender. Like, I don't get that. I don't understand that. I don't think it's something I would put on a truck. And even this one with the full sides, imagine it would keep your trailer and truck pretty clean. And so in this one, this is the uh, thing that's not working right. I have to fix on uh, the Hell Creek Heavy Haul. Is this stripe that would go across here is actually just touching the bottom of the, of the muffler shield. So that's not right. And there's a gap right here. So those things need to be fixed. But, um, yeah, little day cabs, kind of cool. So, lots of things you can do. Um, 
probably not even covering a fraction of it, but uh, let's not do that. Let's get out of here. And uh, go back to the truck and we'll uh, say adios, let you guys get on with your day. So, um, yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of life in this W900. And I think this is going to spark, spark other folks into making more mods for this. And I'm hoping that someday somebody's going to do us a full dash, full gauges, and have a separate GPS. I can see that potentially happening. Maybe we could be able to change the color on the uh, inside other than the fabric. It would be kind of cool. Put some proper bedding back there maybe. But I think there's enough going on here. There's going to be enough interest that this uh, this old truck's going to get some life. And uh, you can get the exterior looking pretty sharp for a you know freebie and five dollar DLC. It's not bad free wheels that's not to like anyway i'll let you go guys as always appreciate you following along and uh, take care you know catch you on the next one bye for now